Hi, I'm Dave from Hardy Scale Models and I've made a quick video today to have a look at some models that I built in my youth and are they still as good now uh, as I used to think they were back in the early 1990s? Let's find out. So a little bit of background first. Uh, when I first started sort of making scale models, uh, it was back when I was in the Air Cadets in the UK and this was sort of the late 80s through the 90s uh, and then sort of late 80s early 90s when i was building kits it, obviously at the cadets it used to be like airfix matchbox uh, that sort of thing um but i always remember there being kits in the model shops with the local model shops in newcastle where i grew up um sort of hasegawa tamia um things like fujimi um, and they were always more expensive and I tended not to get very many of them I uh, just couldn't afford them um, but they always seemed a, like a more exotic kit a, a more detailed kit um, and there was a few that I got and I absolutely loved building and I've actually got new copies of them so I've uh, been on eBay and various other sites and things like that over the last sort of 12 months and I've been getting a few kits again that I had originally which this being one of them so as you can see, it's a Hasegawa kit, it's one to second scale, and it's an A6E intruder. Um, the first thing I will say about these kits is when I was younger, what really sort of made them stand out for me was the box art. All of the box art were done by, I think it was the various artists at times, but they're all signed and stuff like that. Um, and I just loved it, and there was a theme, it was you know, I, I I loved American carrier aircraft and things like that. Um, so these kits were really intriguing uh, and always wanted to build them. So as you can see, um, it's a second hand kit that I've purchased from someone on the internet. So it's been started, very basic cockpit this one has like. So yeah, been started, not the end of the world. I can get all that, I can redo that. But it means I got it really cheap. But the one thing, about this, these kits, Hasegawa kits, the old Hasegawa kits, um, was I never really liked the fold out instructions. I always liked the instructions in a book format. Um, but you know, it's not the end of the world. They're clear, they're, they're concise, it's obvious what you're doing. There's a really good paint uh, sort of layout there by what you need. You can see people's been adding notes about what color paint they're going to use. Um, and yeah, they were always, the, the American carrier craft always sort of uh, attracted me. Uh, as you can see from the decals, um, lots and lots of yellowing. Um, but this kit, to be fair, is, I believe, a 1968 tool. And I think this is a 1993 Rebox, I believe. Um, again, someone started the painting the pilots there. So, you know, this is the risk when you buy sort of all the kits, obviously. This can easily be sorted. You can, you can try the leave it in the window in the sun technique but i live in newcastle in the northeast of england there isn't that much sun um what i'll probably do when i do come to build this is obviously get some second hand uh sorry aftermarket decals which there are loads and loads and loads you can choose from um so kit itself typical hasegawa sort of quality there's not much flash on it um a few injector pin marks but obviously like i say this is a very this is a very old kit uh it's a very old design if it is as I've looked it up, if it is 1968, it's the same age as my sister, and she's 55. Um, so, yeah, it's um, it's showing its age, this one. Um, but the next one I'm going to show you is one that I absolutely adored when I was a kid. Here, we've got one of the 1 to 70 second scale um, F-14 Tomcats. Now, I couldn't, like I say, I couldn't really afford these kits all the time. When I did get them, it tended to be the F-14s. I was It was always my favorite aircraft when I was a kid, probably because I was 11 when Top Gun came out, but you know, hey-ho, there's a lot of us fell into that trap. Um, so this kit, um, yeah, I think I built this one, but there's there's so many versions of this, so many reboxings of this. Um, I think it's a 1988 tool, uh, but this was a 1989 box when they put new decals in for, for this squadron. Um, uh, but yeah, there, there's tons and tons of different versions of this kit that you can get with this boxing. Um, so yeah, all the kit again, the 80s, 
Again, it's another one I've bought online, um, second hand. I have, however, bought a couple of upgrades for it, which I'll move out of the way. Um, now, this one, I, when I was a kid, I thought this was the bee's knees because it had photo etch in it, and I hadn't seen photo etch before. Um, so we're talking 1990, 1991. I hadn't really used it before. I did use it. Then, being completely naive, I just stuck them in the models with super glue, not paying too much attention to it. As you can see, it's not painted, um, not like some of the stuff you can get now. For instance, comparing it to the modern Edward stuff, which is all painted. So, yeah, these used to. I I was knocked out if you got one of these in the in the kit. I thought it was something else, but there you go, naive. Um, and then the kit itself again. I still think this is quite a detailed kit. There, there's obviously age issues with it. There's obviously things on it that are a lot better on other kits, more modern kits, but these are still very detailed aircraft kits and they are a good build to, to do. Now, my memory of these was that they went together really well. Um, there was no major issues with them. Um, and as you can see, for an older kit, there is a lot of detail. Um, so just to zoom in a bit here, if I can get that in shot, you can see there, so the instrument panels are really well detailed. There's a lot of raised detail on these, obviously. There's not a huge amount of recessed stuff, but just again, not a lot of detail on the cockpit itself, but you have the photo etch or the, the aftermarket photo etch that you can easily upgrade that now. Still a bit of detail on the insides of some of the wells. And these kits obviously came with the option of doing the uh, the front slats deployed. So you've got, oops, trying not not the camera there, but these you've got all these bits and pieces here uh, where you can put the slats down, um, which was at the time a really good sort of extra that you didn't get in a lot of kits. Uh, there you can see second hand, that's been taken off. Someone's been having to go at the cockpit, so they've stuck that back on. But again, I got this kit for pennies really I didn't really pay very much for it at all a um, few bits and pieces stuck to the box um, and then the body itself so there's the some recess panel details very fine recess lines on there which is actually quite nice because you don't want recess panel lines to be too deep because they just they just look completely out of scale a um, little bit of detail but again for a, a what 1988 we're thinking here so for a 35 year old kit that is still pretty good in my opinion, and I'm really looking forward to building this um, because this one will be a real trip down memory lane for me. Um, I used to enter the competitions with the cadets when I was younger, uh, the modern competitions, and I actually won one of the ones for the Northeast with one of these kits. Uh, about the only competition I've ever won in my life, uh, but I still remember that. I was there a long time ago. So, again, very similar deco. Uh, Deckles, very similar uh, sheets. You've got the option of open or sort of narrow down exhaust ports if you want to go for afterburners on or off. Um, it's got moving wings for the, the swept wings and stuff, and then that's where your foot wedge comes in for uh, sort of bring more detail to the cockpit to the canopy. Sorry, I will say the canopy is not the greatest. Um, I've got a bit of repair work doing that. There's a horrible seam line right down the middle that I'll have to get rid of. Um, but that's you know like i say it's a 40 year old kit so there we go and some resin wheels i've got for it okay you got the oldest one of the bunch today uh, i've got four kits and this is the third one so this is an old ea6b prowler now you can see straight away the box art is different it's still done by the same guy um but this is a, a much older hasegawa box um so this one again all of these like i say i've got off the internet now i think if i'm being if i've got these dates correct this kit is actually the oldest this is a 1979 tool and i think it's a 1979 boxing as well so in the 1979 box you've got this color call out single-sided so it's the color one it's all right to heels one slightly at the 1979 so that would have been lovely in the other kits but you didn't get that in all of them so you've got this lovely sort of semi-gloss color color which is brilliant and instructions are slightly different however one thing that i do like about it, it's such a shame it's not in color but 
given the time scales, given the fact that these are well over 40 years old, it's not to be expected. But one thing I do like here is they actually give you a photograph of what the stage that you're doing should look like when it's finished, which I think is a really good touch because you've got some modelers who are novices who are just starting out in the hobby and things like that I think would actually be really cool in instructions now I know it increases in production costs probably and you've got to think about different ways of doing things with the instructions but why not eh? um, again this one it's showing its age a little bit I'll tell you what I'll just take the rattlers off because I am going to build this this one again second hand off internet I think this was on eBay sorry about the rattlings I'm doing this live I'm not re-recording the audio over the top um, so again not a huge amount of deal in the cockpit just a little but again if you wanted to go to town with aftermarket there are aftermarket out here for all of these kits um, some really good Edward stuff that which is I'll be honest where I tend to go to um, I'll not open this one because it's got the glass parts in it but you can see that you've got some smoked effect glass parts Lots of nice deal again, recessed pan lines, not too deep. I used to love this aircraft. You got lots of different bits there. Um bombs, fuel tanks. Sorry, not bombs, it's not a it's not a bomber, fuel tanks and the ECM pods. Um but again, recessed pan lines. Again you can do sort of uh, steps for the pilot steps, you can do those open ladders there. Again, deals that you didn't tend to get on some of the sort of cheaper kits we did when, when we were kids that always attracted me to these kits finally i've got this one so obviously not a carrier aircraft um hamleys 7.99 yeah okay uh i don't even think you can get i don't even think you can get an airfix starter kit for 7.99 these days but there you go so this f16c kit it's one to 48 skill i think it's a 1983 tool um, and this box was from 1987, I believe. Again, beautiful box art. Same guy. Um, box art on these. I think now with Hasegawa kits, you get an actual photograph of the aircraft on the front of the box, which I much prefer the box art. It just looks so much nicer. Again, absolutely bog standard Hasegawa decals um, with the call outs at the bottom for the paint and stuff. Um, I do remember building this kit and I remember making a complete pig's ear of these red and white striped decals um, which I won't be doing when I do it again this time um, but again yeah again there's a lot of yellowing on these so I'm not sure how sort of saveable these are um, but again when I come to build it I'll probably do uh, some aftermarket decals and again a nice colour call out which really Helps you get exactly in your head how, how you're going to be doing it, especially if you're doing sort of your blending colours with an airbrush or anything like that. Um, and this one, I remember there being two. Yeah, that came off. That all came off when I bought it 40 years ago as well. Um, so in this one, a bit more detail in the cockpit. Obviously, you've got a bigger scale. But again, nothing that you can't file down, put some aftermarket in if you were that way inclined. And we've also got the smoke effect canopy on this one and a white and a basically a see-through canopy, a clear canopy and a smoked effect one. So you've got two options there. Uh couple of sparrow missiles, I believe. Oh, has he got a stamped inside the tail fin? It doesn't show on the other side, thankfully. Never noticed that when I built it when I was uh, younger. Um so yeah, again, lo like lovely recessed rivet work there. And considering again, I believe this kit is 1983, so there you go, 40 years old, and that's got some, so that's got some detail in there that I wouldn't be disappointed with on a kit. Now, to be honest, and again, yeah, got some nice recess panels on that as well. So, so there you are, um, 40, 40 year old Hasegawa, Hasegawa kits, um. What do I think? Um, I still like them. Um, there's still a lot to do. There's still a high part count. Um, there's still a lot of detail you can put in them. Um, and I think anybody 
getting these off the internet you can get them quite cheap some some people do try and sell them for far too much money but you can get them cheap um but they are still very detailed kits that are very nice to build and again if you want to go to town get the extra detail get the spend a bit more money and get the aftermarket you can do that it's all out there for it um so yeah um if you're anyone i don't know if any if, leave a comment on the on the video if you have built these kits before if you've if you remember these kits the box art and things like that if you remember paying 7.99 at hamley's for a model uh, we didn't have a hamley's in newcastle we had uh, bees and uh, there was a newcastle model shop but they're all sadly gone now um and uh, yeah just let me know what you think of the kits uh if you want to uh leave any comments i do try and reply to everybody um but other than that thanks for checking out the video um and i, I hope you enjoyed it thanks very much